Alright, so this is a uh, speed modification for a uh, Honda NHX 110. Basically, to do this mod, uh, you basically uh, need to machine your variator boss. And you get a washer. So here's a washer that I got. This is a 916th uh, OD. I, excuse me, not OD, uh, ID. 916th ID. And this thickness here is a uh, 76 thousandth, so that's of an inch, so that's uh, 0 0.076. Alright, this is also a grade 8 uh, washer. It's a little bit thinner than a regular washer, uh, and that's what you want. You don't want a washer any thicker than, than this. If it's thicker than this, it, it's not going to work. <clears throat> so, washers are always, you know, because they're stamps, they always have uh, two sides. And one side has a rounder, a rounder edge. And the other side has this more of a square, more of a sharp edge. So you want to make sure that the rounder edge goes on the faces in inwards. All right? There's that. <clears throat> and the other part is your variator boss. So this boss is a bit of machine down already. So I basically machined this down. Uh, and I took took the 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 width of it. I took off the same material as the thickness of the washer. Uh, so so basically what what that what that does, um, you know, when you put everything together, this washer takes up that space that that was taken that was removed from this this boss here. And what happens when you make this boss uh, uh, shorter in length? That when it's in here, it's in the variator, and the pulleys, you know, the pulleys in here. When it's in here, basically what happens is when this boss is shorter, it brings this variator closer to the outer face making the the belt right higher up into the in on this pulley so that way you basically have a taller gearing and when I did this I actually gained five miles an hour okay uh, so basically the only difference is you know from stock is having the washer um, you know machining this boss down uh, and the reason why you don't want to go use a thicker spacer or machine it any further uh, is because if you notice up up here the pinion gear and the starter gear you see that the variator it's literally only about a millimeter or so of space away from here so you don't want the belt to touch that if the belt touches that while you're riding it'll shred your belt so if you look at my uh, my face here you see that the belt wear basically ends up right about right there so I have about two millimeters or so Maybe two and a half millimeters, so that's that's sort of, that's a that's you know that's to be safe. I don't want the belt to go all the way up to this the edge of this variator just because that's just cutting it too close to the uh, to the pinion gear right here. Because uh, you know the belt is rubber and it moves and it you know it it uh, it's not just it doesn't just stay statically it, it it flexes a little bit and stuff. So sometimes if that that movement uh, potentially it could you know touch this. So that's why you know you want to have at least a couple if not you know three millimeters away. Um, uh, so, so that you know that makes it safe so that it doesn't touch this pinion gear. So that's the important part right there. And I actually got my washer at a, uh, I think Orchard Supply, but you know you can pretty much get it at whatever decent, uh, decent hardware store. Um, so I'm, I was using a 916th uh, ID that uh, M, uh, I think a M14 also fits as well. Uh, but the key point is you want to get the thinner washers because usually washers of those sizes of those diameter inside diameter that those washers are tend to you know as the washer gets bigger they tend to be uh, thicker as well and you don't want to get the thick stuff because it doesn't it doesn't work um another reason why it doesn't work and i'm gonna put this in just without the belt just so you can kind of see it other reason why it wouldn't work is if it's too thick uh and you put everything in you basically you know you look at how this nut goes on you know how how much thread there is here you know if, if you go with the thicker uh um uh, washer, um, you know, you either have to machine the the the, the variator boss more. If you machine it more, the belt will ride too high and it touches. So that's what you don't want. So the, the amount of that machine is is just right. Um, if you say if you only machine the boss off by the same amount that I machined it off, but but use a thicker washer, your nut here will be further out, and you will have less thread engagement. I mean, you know, basically you have a 
less threads means it means uh, you're putting more load on, on whatever thread it is that is engaged. So remember that this the spindle here, this actual uh, this uh, crank spindle here, at the end of the threads here, it's kind of tapered a little bit. So those those the th uh, thread or two that's showing, that's that those threads. If it's if you're not out here, those threads actually are not really engaged to your nut. Uh, so you have to be a little bit further in. You know, you have to be about two, at least two, if not three millimeters in uh, from, this, from the nut to the end of the crank here to fully engage those threads. So, um, so I think the washer I found was like perfect. So that was kind of a. So I lucked out on that one. Uh, so you know, as soon as you go to the hardware store, go up and down the aisles where they have the nuts and nuts and bolts and washers, and uh, you know, this the washers are usually at several different places. So. Uh, you know, I spent like half an hour at the uh, hardware store looking for a bunch of different washers, and the one I found uh, was was pretty much perfect. Uh, so, so the the bad thing about this modification is that when you when you know when you make the, this boss uh, more more uh, shorter, initially it also brings the uh, the, the variator face here with that washer in the back. It brings the face closer into the outer face. So basically, you start off with the belt. Uh, riding up higher in the variator, so then basically you're starting off with a taller gear. So, so at right at tuck off, it does kind of hesitate and stutter a little bit. Um, uh, the reason for that is since this this is you know it initially start it's it's uh, it's geared taller. That means for for a given RPM that the crank spins, your uh, your clutch your clutch on the back side uh, over there it will actually spin faster. So basically it engages the clutch. Uh, so basically, what that means is, you know, uh, at a given RPM, the clutch will engage sooner than it was compared to stock. Uh, so, so the downside is, is, you know, if you do a lot of stop and go, and just strictly urban only, and uh, you don't really don't uh, care too much for uh, for uh, top speed or or, or uh, you're not in the top speed or top gear very often. Uh, don't do this mod, otherwise you'll hate it. You hate that that initial takeoff, that hesitation, because it, it, you know before prior to doing this, you know I I always took off faster than cars at a at a light, but uh, ever since this mod, uh, you know I think to take off the same speed as a car, or actually I'm a little bit slower than cars, so you know, be, so be aware of that. Um, um, so that's the downside to this, but you know for my riding, you know what, what I do anyways, I, I'm I don't do too much stop and go. Uh, Stop and go, so so that so that doesn't really concern me too much, and uh, so it doesn't bother me too much. Most of my most of my riding is wide open throttle. Uh, I'm usually, you know, I'm I'm at the rev limit quite often, so um, so 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 this mod works out really well for me. Um, and if also if you're really heavy, you might not want to do this mod either, just because you know if you're real heavy, you know this this gives you taller, so so uh, so you, you know the the bike might not have enough. Uh, Oomph, the engine might not have enough oomph in it to uh, to uh, get you going as well. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I think that's about it. So yeah, so basically with this mod, I actually gained about uh, about five miles an hour uh, at max speed at top speed. So basically, right currently, I could actually um, I could sit upright and get to 55 indicated uh, with a with a larger tire, of course, uh, uh, 55 indicated, standing upright. If I tuck or or draft or go downhill, I could actually get to 60 uh, miles an hour. Prior to shaping out that that, that boss, uh, the fastest this could go was 55, 56 uh, before it hit the rev limiter. You know, now it's 60 until it, you know 60 or 60 plus until it hit the rev limiter. So I gained about five miles an hour, uh, and I really like it. You know, because because. Uh, because you know, you know it's me sitting upright and it's just this, this thing still is able to do 55 without hitting the rev limiter was great. You know, prior to this, I, you know, I would be at at uh, put, pretty much at 55 and I was hitting the rev limiter and I didn't like that. I don't think that's uh, I don't think that's very uh, efficient use of, of the power, uh, you know, of, of gas, gas mileage and etc. etc. Um, let's see, so that's that's the main thing of it. Uh, so obviously, uh, to to machine that little uh, boss down, you need a you need you know you need to have access to a lathe. Uh, you could probably bring it to a machine shop and uh, and have them do it for you. It, you know, it's it you could do pretty fast. It only took me, uh, you know, like 10 minutes or 15 minutes or something like that. 
uh, including setup time. Uh, so that was real quick. Um, so you know, so, so a machine, machine shop shouldn't charge you too much. Uh, maybe 20 bucks or something like that. Uh, at you know, uh, give or take a few bucks uh, to do to do this, and that'd be a great uh, great modification for you to uh, to do. Um, so I actually I just did this thing this week. I haven't written it too much. I just I did my uh, I did a test run on my my regular commute, and it it, it handled it just fine. Um, even uphill, it was actually running strong as well. So I didn't have any problems going uphill. It was the only problem I had was that initial takeoff, that launch at the light, where it, you know where it was a little bit slower, it hesitated, stumbled a little bit. Uh, every, everywhere else, it was great. Um, yeah. Okay. Thank you for watching.